With patient access, you can now access your local GP services at home, work or on the move, wherever you can connect to the internet. What's more, because patient access is a 24-hour online service, you can do this in your own time, day or night. This video is a guide to patient access for Apple devices. We'll show you how to register and log into your account, update your personal and security details, and how to securely sign out of the system. Before you can begin to use patient access on your Apple device, you'll need to request online access from your GP practice. When you do this, you may be asked to provide identification before you're given online services account details. In other words, the codes required to register for patient online. You'll then need to install the patient access app on your device. The application is free and can be found on Apple iTunes. Once you've received a letter with your online services account details, you're ready to register. Once you've installed the app on your Apple device, click on the icon to launch it. The app will open and the welcome page will be displayed. The first time you use the app, you will have to register your account with the app by creating a new account. Click the Create an Account link to begin the registration process. You'll then be asked to fill in some details from your registration letter. The first box is where you need to enter your account linkage key or PIN. Then enter your practice ODS code or practice ID. Enter your account ID. This may also be known as your access ID. Finally, enter your NHS number. If you don't know this, leave the box blank as it won't affect your registration. When you're ready, click next at the bottom right of the screen. You'll now be asked to enter some more information about yourself. Enter your surname, your date of birth, then choose a memorable but secure password. It must be a minimum of eight characters long and contain at least one uppercase or capital letter, one lowercase letter and one number. Next, re-enter your password. You'll then need to read the terms and conditions and select the checkbox to agree them. Once complete, select next at the bottom right of the screen. To complete your registration, complete the following details. Enter a valid email address, a mobile contact number, then scroll down to select some security questions. These will assist you if you ever struggle to gain access to the system in the future. Select a question to answer. Choose a memorable security question from the list given by selecting a radio button. Then type in the answer. The same steps can be repeated for a second security question. To complete the registration, select Next. Once successfully registered, take a note of your user ID and password details, then you're ready to sign in. Before signing in, it's recommended to select and read the terms of use, along with information about your privacy at the bottom of the screen. When you're ready to sign in, complete the user ID and password and select Sign In. When you first log into the app, this screen is displayed. If an error message is displayed, please contact your GP practice. You'll be asked to update your contact details. Now, even if some details were entered during the registration, it's advised to check that all contact details are correct and complete. An advantage of this is that you don't need to visit your practice if you forget your user ID or password. To update your contact details, select click here to update your contact details. Your existing details will be shown Select Update Details. Your details are then displayed along with the options to cancel to return to the previous screen or as we'll now look at, to edit them. To change or update your details, complete the fields displayed. Items marked with an asterisk must be entered. Once the contact details are up to date, select Save Changes. To change your password, Select Change Password.
Changing your password regularly helps keep your information safe. Please note that passwords must meet certain criteria, so we recommend taking some time to read the rules. To change your password, you'll need to type in your current password, followed by your new password, and then once again. Finally, select Change Password. If your passwords don't match, you'll be asked to retype. To activate the changes, click on Change Password, and to cancel, select Cancel. Security questions are used to help you access your information if you forget your user ID or password. You can change your security questions by clicking on Change Security Questions. Two security questions are required. To choose security question one, select a question to answer. Several security questions are displayed. Choose a memorable one by selecting the appropriate radio button. Enter the answer and select next. Then complete the same steps for security question two. For added security, enter your password in the box with the padlock then select Save Answers to save your security questions. To sign out of the app securely, select Sign Out at the top right of the screen. The screen is displayed to confirm that you've signed out. A link is shown to sign into the application again. To view videos on how to use patient access on Apple devices to book appointments and order prescriptions, click on the relevant link.